Hey, we are at the Brigham City Temple. People can sit up there and listen to the choirs. Uh, this train sounds like it's going. Something's coming out. It's leaking some water or something. Oh, oh no, now it's 2424. And hello, Mama O fam. Look at this beautiful sunshiny day. I love it. There's not even a breeze and the temperature is about 83. I'm heading up to Brigham City to do my live up there. So let's see what today brings. And it's only, I'm doing all the temples within an hour drive and this one is temple number 18. I got one more. And then I've got all the peaches off of here. I'm gonna take all these ropes down and cut all the broken parts off. This will be the saddest because I cut here and it takes this whole branch down, but I'll be able to save this one, save this one to this point, cut it here and then save this one. So I'll be able to save a little bit, but the peach tree has served me well. I think I got like six bushel off of there, off that little tree. Shared it with my family because I still have a ton in the freezer that I gonna need help eating that too so let's drive down let's drive down to Brigham City on such a pretty day hey we are at the Brigham City Temple and this one isn't that old I think it's maybe five years maybe oh so pretty so peaceful too love it it's got two steeples Little miniature roses. Oh, look how pretty this is their fountain. And I guess that's a city building over there. I'll have to find out what that building is. So pretty. And it was built in 2012. So that's, what, 10, 11 years ago? So pretty. Got the grass all mowed and everything. Hey, I just got finished with my live. I'm going to drive over across the street and see what that building is. It looks uh, right over there. And then go see the Golden Spike. I came across the street uh, of the temple. You can see it over there. I was just curious what this building is. The door open there. So I'm just going to go investigate and then look at this the pretty temple from this side. So this is Brigham City Tabernacle. So the church owns this. They come over and let the choir sing. Brides could come over here. Then you can get this view of the temple because when you're real close, you can't really see it. So I bet brides walk across the street and come get pictures here. Look how pretty. The grounds are kept pretty over here too. Tabernacle. You can see the temple right behind me. Oh, they said it completed in 79, yeah. So this is inside the tabernacle where they can hold concerts and stuff. Beautiful. They said it burned down and then they rebuilt it, it to look the same. People can sit up there and listen to the choirs. Yes, it is an old archive. So let's go see if I can find the Golden Spike. We used to run. I think I've done this race. It's called the Golden Spike Half Marathon and uh, we used to come up here and run and down to start up in the mountains way up there and then run down the canyon and it was called the Golden Spike Marathon and I would do the half a marathon. It was called Brigham Fort or no Box Elder Fort and they were having trouble with the Indians and Brigham, Brigham Young said instead of fighting them feed them. Okay so I found out the Golden Spike is 30 miles west of Brigham City. Monument to their memory. I see a train out there. I guess that's you have to pay to go in. Here. As the Union Pacific remained a movie going Park, in there. Ten miles of track laid in one day. And they've got they've got stuff you can buy here. Abraham Lincoln. Can you imagine living this kind of life? The guys that had to lay the railway down. This is how they did it. You guys are getting a tour.
And here's California, the Central Pacific. There's Ogden where they met, and here's the Union Pacific from Nebraska. So that was quite an accomplishment to meet here. And then you could go all the way across the nation. Big by little trains, Frankie would love that. <laughs> the whole track. Oh, you can buy little golden spikes. Ooh. Hey, last spike driven. Noon, Monday, May 10th, 1869. 75 yards ahead, six million spikes and six years work. I was wondering how many years. Uh, now only one section of rails was left undone. So here they are, here's the small crowd. Maybe the spike's going right there. Dr. Thomas Durant and Leland Stanford. Central Pacific guy, Union Pacific guy. With those last few swings, the billion dollar dream of the world's first transcontinental railroad became a reality. Wow, what a life. What's that guy doing up there? Transforming communication. Yeah, oh yeah, communication. This is actually pretty cool. I'm glad I made the drive. I am standing on the railroad tracks. I don't see any trains. <laughs> oh my goodness, for miles and miles. It says keep off wagons. Bring the railroad ties out, I suppose. There's the original track. Let's go see that golden spike. Here we are. Pretty cool, huh? Now, this train sounds like it's going. Something's coming out. It's leaking some water or something. And is this the golden one? Okay. Huh. We'll get on the railroad track and look at this train. And then look at this one. So who's got to back up? And there it is, 1869. I thought it was a spike, not a rail. Now what's steaming over here? Something's leaking. It stinks too. Pretty. Is it going to go somewhere? What if you get rides? Look, middle of nowhere. Guess you can see inside. Maybe they do tours. I don't know. Like with kids come. Wow. I can't imagine. Oh, they coal got coal going. Yeah, this is, this is so cool. I am, I walked a little bit away from the train so you could see me between the two trains. Look, there I am, between the two trains. Pretty cool, huh? So I was asking a guy, I said, well, I thought they had a golden spike here, not a not a rail, golden rail. And they said, well, somebody kept, people kept still on it. <laughs> so that sounds about right. <laughs> and now I'm closer in between the two trains. Right there, historical moment. Like I can just buzz out here. Like I was kind of complaining, think, oh, half hour drive out. You know how long it would take on a horse and buggy? And they've got books, Voices of the Railroad, the Iron Horse. Let's see, the scandalous life of Leland. Okay. <laughs> Empire Express, Chinese and the Railroad. Interesting locomotion. Yeah, it's quite quite the event. New and Stanford special train, pulled by a locomotive named Jupiter, advanced down the Central Pacific Line. Was bright, clear, and cool at Promontory Summit. A telegrapher's key awaited the hand that would tell the world that the Atlantic touches the Pacific. O-N-E. Done. The celebration at Promontory was modest, but elsewhere. There can never be in the history of railroad air drives on this continent another occasion so full of cause for triumph and mutual celebration as that we celebrate today. Steaming up the engine, they said they're going to back it up. They tuck them in at night. Hey, we got the guide here. He says these are replicas built back in the 1940s. Oh, oh, oh! That scared me. He told me they were going to do three blasts, but it still scared me. Okay, here it is. They back this one up. In a half hour, they will back that one up. I just happened to be here. Yeah, the original got taken to some historic site. 
I think it's going to go to that building right there where they store it so that vandals don't destroy it. Every time a train crosses the road, it's retired, required to blow the whistle. Okay, there's the whistle that they are crossing the road. And he says they're going to come down here. This is the whistle to approach. Warn you that they are coming. This is just for show. Two gold spikes. Two gold spikes, but the owners took them back. There he goes. Pretty cool. The two Nevada point two million spike dollars. And the gold glass spike are both at the Stanford Art Museum on display. Uh, the other gold spike is lost to history. Oh. He's coming back. So they do this three times a day. Oh, he's going pretty fast backwards. There's your guys' history lesson for the day. There we go. Pretty cool. Yes, this was an unplanned trip out here. I, I really thought it was closer to the Brigham City because when we do that race, you know, it's called the Golden Spike Run race. So, but I thought, well, I'm out here. Here's your tour. We head home, an hour and a half drive. That was actually really interesting. I'm glad I came out here. I am glad. It was, I really enjoyed it. Here we go, head home. Made it home just in time to watch the volleyball game. They are announcing the girls. Maddie Orth! Let's play ball. Score 17-18. Oh, 17-19 them. Maddie just served. This is Maddie right here. Julianne sitting right here. So I think that's Julianne right there. They're down to 17. That's five points. That's pretty good. That's highly unusual in Lollyball. Okay. Alright, uh, serve it. Oh, good block. Pick it up! Ooh. Maddie, kill it. Oh, here it comes. Ah! Oh, they still got it. We thought we had them. Bump. Set. Kill it. Ah, oh, they got it. It's a long volley. Oh, we got him. Oh, no. oh, they got it back. Oh, we're still alive. We're still going. They're still... Bump and kill it. Yeah. Oh, we got him that time. 23-23. Oh, my gosh. This is so intense. Uh, okay. 23-23. We held him. That's so unusual. Okay. Good serve. Good serve. Oh, block it. Block it. Bump. Set. Kill. Okay. Oh, she's down. Oh, we pulled ahead. 24-23. Look at us. That is so rare. Game point for us. Oh, time out. We'll be back. Okay, girls, let's go get that winning point. 24, 23, us. We only need one more. We have the serve. Cannot believe we pulled ahead like that. We were down five points. Alrighty, this is the game point. I hope. Oh, oh no, now it's 24, 24. The audience is chanting. Oh, Kill it. Both of us want to win, but who will it be? Good, Maddie. Oh, 24, 24 is the score. Maddie, go. Got it. Bump. Kill. Oh, yeah, that's us. 25, 24. We got to win by one point. Okay, our serve. Maddie's on front row. She's in kill position. She's a good kill. She does good kills. 25, 24, us. Okay, got it. Bump. Set and Maddie take the kill. Oh, she's kind of in a bad spot, but she got it. Ooh, oh, we just won it. Woohoo! 26-24. Way to go. Way to go. There's Good job, girls. Oh, kitty. There she is again. Is that? Oh, she jumped off. I walk up. You can sit there if you want. I'm not going to kick you off. Oh, time to say good night. Okay, the quote is... If you love life, don't waste time, for time is what life is made up of. I like that one. Uh, thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Remember, look for that rose, and let's see what tomorrow brings. Thank you, and good night. Daddy, the world has come a long, long way from the time you were born to the present day. You've ridden many miles in the pioneer days and trailed
lots of cattle in the dust and the haze From the bump, bump, bumping of the wagon train To a nice car ride down the freeway lane From the clump, clump, clumping of the big old horse To riding an auto around a pretty golf course Hey daddy, the world has come a long, long way From the time you were born to Day. You've ridden many miles in the piney days And trailed lots of cattle in the dust and the haze From the push, push, pushing of the old hand cart To the three-wheeling wagon in a supermarket From the chug, chug, chugging of the old steam train To a very smooth ride down the Zephyr Lane Hey!